everybody and tropical storm Fiona ended up hitting our island yesterday. Thankfully this side of the island didn't really get affected. We had some winds drizzle here and there of rain and that was it. The other side of the island, sadly, I can't say the same happened over there. It was complete utter destruction, heartbreaking. It was so sad. Homes were completely torn apart or swept away out into the ocean. It was just heartbreaking. So sad to see the surges of waves come upon some of these properties and completely destroy people's land and homes and Oh my goodness, it's going to be a long cleanup process and just my heart goes out to all the families. <sighs> wow, it was just so sad to see the footage and videos on the news of what happened on the other side of the island here. Oh my goodness, I can't even begin to imagine. The dogs though yesterday did go outside. They got to play and just enjoy the day. Layla, I found out, really, really is scared and nervous when the winds really do blow and the just the sound, I guess, and the movement of the trees. She comes running up to me. She gets very nervous, skittish. I'd have to pet her, soothe her, tell her everything was okay, and let her go play again. But that's what they did earlier. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. I'm still getting over it. I've been dealing with the flu really badly lately. It's like a head cold. I don't know. You probably noticed it in the other videos. I was there trying to get through them but it was a struggle because oh this was brutal it was a fever and just chills and it was a hot mess of a head cold and my nose is still kind of stuffed up my throat but ugh, hopefully I get over this soon I know I can feel the difference I must be getting near the end of it now but the past few days have been brutal but anywho I let the dogs outside and play and they just enjoyed the day Let her up, please. Don't pin her. Oh, there's a cat up there. And that's not our neighbor's cat, because our neighbor doesn't own any pets. But there's a white and orange kitty. Careful playing, you're playing a little too rough. Claire and Ariel, settle down a little bit. You can chase each other, but don't be steady grabbing each other and stuff. Nala. All you can see is her tail.
anything else see? They see something. Like I said, that cat went over there. After the dogs came in, I had two orders come from Instacart, so I had to pack away that stuff. Here's what I got for today. Some movie night butter, smart food, popcorn, poppables, sea salt, some jerky treats for the dogs, and these are beef flavored. Ruffles regular, lightly salted. Mountain Dew, Purex Black Detergent three Clorox disinfectant wipe packages, Jane's chicken burgers, sweet and sour sauce, ranch dipping chip dip, sorry, the Ruffles brand, Kinder chocolates, three of those, milk chocolate, Lin how do you pronounce this? Extra creamy chocolate bar for my husband, Kit Kat bars for my husband, and dairy milk bars for my husband. Limes and mini chunks for the dogs. Hamburger buns, two packs of those. Cheese, shredded cheese, it's a double cheddar. The Bistro Selects Savory Frites. Vinyl gloves. Central Dairies White Milk. And last but not least, Old Roy Chewy Dog Biscuits. I had to place another order because Walmart didn't have these items in stock. I ended up getting the milk bones, variety brands, chicken, bacon, turkey, beef, and sausage, extra large flat garbage bags, burrito mop heads, Don Dish Liquid, the Platinum One, one of my favorites, Listerine Total Care, the Billy Boat Mini Kitchen Bags, Lettuce, some tomatoes, and last but not least, some sugar. 
And I also received the gate for the bathroom entrance. The gate for the bathroom just got dropped off and this one will match the one that's going across their bedroom right now. The plan is to have all the gates matching by the end of this. But at least now the one in the bathroom will be better than what's there now. This is the gate across the bathroom right now and it just, it doesn't do the job. You steady have to hop over it to get back and forth. It's just a pain. So this gate is actually going to be moved now to the office room and it will go across that bedroom because we don't go in there as much except for me to do my business stuff and editing and everything else. But besides that, we're not really in there. So I figured I'd put that across the office and the other gate that we just picked up will go here. And the replacement curtains finally came for the dining room window, which I was really glad about because I accidentally ordered the wrong ones last time. <laughs> so it's nice to have the correct ones that match the ones that are in the living room area. Yay, I finally got the right ones delivered. There they are. <laughs> These are the proper ones that I wanted and needed. I'm gonna leave them in the package for now and just show you. I wanted them for this window here, and if you guys remember, they accidentally dropped off these ones, which are not it. They have gray on the other side and this design on the front of it. Not what I wanted. I actually wanted these here, and as you see, when I flip it over, it's black on this side and the same type of fabric. But I'm glad now they got the right ones dropped off, and they're over there now for me to open up and hang up in the other window. And then they'll match these ones that are in the big window here. And thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. And if you can, please donate to the Canadian Red Cross to help those affected by the tropical storm Fiona here in Atlantic Canada. And if you cannot donate, that is certainly fine. Please, if you can, on any social media platforms you have, share the web link for the Canadian Red Cross. Thank you again for watching. We'll see you again real soon. Bye now, everybody.